Nice. And I know you also mentioned the, the COT reports, the commitment of traders reports. What exactly are those and how do you look at those and break those down? Oh, well, uh, I have somewhat untraditional view on commitment of trader reports because I always look at extremes in commercial positions. Uh, why commercials? Because they are real users and producers of commodity and they know this market like no one else in the world. No hedge fund, no bank knows better wheat, for example, than the farmers do. That's 100%. And if their position reach some extreme levels, for example, the bigger short positions in recent year or better three years, this is the market to watch and to add to watch list. Nice. So if we just see they are uh, adding more and more to shorts, but these shots are far from extreme, this market is not interesting and likely the move will be not so big or maybe market will remain flat. So what I'm trying to do is to find fundamental setup for rally or decline because this commercial, they know everything about this market. And if they are buying like a crazy this market, they know something and we will get to know that information in two weeks maybe or maybe even later, whatever it may be. Yeah, like uh, was the movie Trading Places, get some, let's buy some oranges. Uh, uh, Raggy, I saw you nodding your head a little bit about the COT. Any, anything you'd like to add about the, the COT? I love what she was saying about those extremes in psychology because she, you know, she's so she's so right. And it it's wonderful when we have these kind of get togethers, we could talk to other traders. You know, I'm I'm taking notes, I'm listening. And and those are things that remind me, yeah, those extremes in opinion, whether that be price and historical lows, or uh, as she was mentioning with the with the COT, yeah, I completely agree. It just reminds me of things that um, you were mentioning that old school, right? Yeah. Old school stuff works. I think I love that you said that because so many traders are looking for the new whiz bang, shiny secret squiggle indicator. When in fact, my favorite books on the shelf behind me are ones that were written in the twenties they were written in the thirties. And, and they talk about the old school psychology and price movement. And, and I don't, I'm not a huge fan of, uh, you know, a lot of the new tools, which are just completely price-based and not sentiment and, and informed, as she mentioned, the producers know everything. Of course, they're on the ground with it. So I love everything she said. That's why I was, <laughs> that's why I was nodding uh, profusely. <laughs> yeah, I, I must agree. We, we are animals at our very nature and core. And uh, a, lot of our, a lot of our actions and decisions, they don't make sense. They're more based on fear, survival, and, uh, and, other, tech, and other reasons. So if anyone's trying to figure out why the markets don't make sense you got to try and understand human nature uh, as well 